A feature that's very unique to Architect is the ability to pull in content, like images, from existing websites. I'm switch gears here a little bit, and this is an existing site out on the web built in another platform. I want to recreate this site using Architect. So let's go back to the editing tool, and you can see here I have a completely blank template. If I go over to the content option on the left, I have a few options in here, and I'll explain each one. First of all, we can click import content and it says import content from a website or Facebook page. I'll go ahead and enter in the URL for that site. It's branddirective.com, just like that, and click enter. And now it says it's searching for photos. And you'll see what happened. It finds all of the photos used on that website, along with phone numbers and emails. And if I click save, everything is pulled into our architect library. It asks us, do we want to update existing contact info on our site with what we've just imported? I'm going to skip that for now. Let's go ahead and close the content panel. And now if I scroll down on this website and I wanted to add an image, let's say in this frame here, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to set an image as the background. And in the image picker, this is just the quick view. I can select in this dropdown and go from old site. And what it's going to do is show me every image that it's pulled in from the old website. So I can select that one and done. We don't have to go through and save everything out of the old site. This is a great time-saving tool if you're porting designs over from existing platforms. Another really interesting feature of the content collection is to collect from client. So if I click on that button, it gives me a URL. And if I copy this URL, we could send this to a client. So if I bring up a new tab and I drop that URL in, you can see here it says content collection form, and it gives your clients the ability to upload images, upload files, and even tweak information like phone numbers or social handles, and all of that is pulled into the site. This is designed to simplify the process of collecting content from your clients, and it works really, really well. Let me close that. These last items below act as your storage spot for your assets. So if I click manage images, it brings up our image picker where we can kind of sort and create folders for all the images we have on the site. We can also do the same with files. We can set some business info. So things like phone numbers, we can set social accounts. That way, if we use any of the social widgets built into the platform, they automatically pull in the right social addresses. There's also a business profile tool that we can add some descriptive information about us and there's a find and replace tool. When you're starting any website, it's always faster to upload all of the assets you're going to need upfront and then to sit down and design without having to stop and find images as you go. In the next video, let's have a look at the design tab and I'll show you how to set styles globally across your entire website.